What is going on? Welcome back to another broadcast of the weekly with me, Neff. We've got some interesting information here with a couple articles. One article in particular is going to talk about this whole weekend as far as the box office goes. As you guys know, 4th of July just passed. We had a three to four day weekend there. So, you know, any movie that came out over that weekend expected to make money. But we're going to go into a little more detail on the movies that did make money and the movies that didn't do so well. So this article is from the Variety Despicable Me 4 tops July 4th holiday box office with mighty 122.6 million dollars. Maxine opens to 6.7 million dollars. Let's read a little more. Grew in the Minion set off fireworks at the box office as America celebrated its birthday. Despicable Me 4, the latest chapter in Universal and Illumination's long-running franchise about a recovering supervillain who trades world domination for family life dominated the competition, earning $122.6 million over its first five days of release and $75 million during the three-day weekend. The movie opened on Wednesday, allowing it to fully capitalize on the 4th of July holiday. But Despicable Me's appeal transcends borders. Internationally, the film earned $106.9 million from 73 markets, bringing its global earnings to $229 million in total. Pretty impressive numbers for one weekend. Even better, Despicable Me 4 carries a relatively economical $100 million production budget, which should make it very profitable for the companies behind it to say nothing of all the Minions merch they will sell. For context, films at Pixar and Disney Illumination's main rival routinely cost $200 million to make. So, you know, with that being said, another animated film we talked about, Inside Out 2. Not too much in detail. There's a little bit about that film in this article I'm going to read into. But it seems like those animated movies are dominating. And there's multiple reasons that they're dominating. One, they appeal to multiple demographics, children and adults. And two, they're coming out in the summer where families are trying to get out and do some things. So it kind of makes sense that these movies are doing well in particular. I actually saw Despicable Me 4 this weekend. Pretty good film pretty lighthearted. I think a lot of people are going to continue to watch this movie. As you guys know, you might not know, Inside Out 2 has crossed a billion dollars at the box office. I do think Despicable Me 4 is going to be following Inside Out 2 and that will cross a billion dollars as well. July has a couple good titles. Uh, the one I'm most excited for is Deadpool, of course, at the end of the month. But the animated films are dominating this summer so far. Let me keep reading. One of those Disney and Pixar productions, Inside Out 2, continued to be a box office juggernaut, nabbing $30 million for a second place finish. The animated sequel about the emotional life of a teenager girl is the summer's biggest hit, earning $533.8 million domestically and $1.2 billion globally. So, yeah, you know, killing it killing it with the animated films they got some information on a quiet place day one as well guys don't let me forget we will be talking about quiet place at day one when we get back to the popcorn square podcast we're going to have a full review of that and we're going to go into the details about the production budget and the box office there's some information here that i want to cover real quick though catering to older audiences paramounts of quiet place day one earned 21 million dollars over the weekend for a third place finish bringing the horror prequels domestic gross to a sterling 94.4 million dollars that's pretty good as well. I know the box office was about $67 million, so not bad for a big budget film. I do think Quiet Place will be successful. I think it needs about $205 million. I think it can hit that mark. Um, but it's, it's kind of tough coming out against all these animated films because those films usually scrape up everything in the summer. But A Quiet Place was a good film. And like I said, we'll be talking about that more in detail uh, probably later on in the week, maybe this weekend. Let's see. So I'm not really seeing too much about Maxine, but there's something here. It says here, A24's Maxine, a horror thriller about a starlet targeting killer that unfolds in 1980s Hollywood, debuted at $6.7 million for a fourth place finish, while Angel Studios' Sound of Hope, the story of Possum Trot, a faith-based drama about the members of rural church and the foster children they help, earned $3.2 million over the weekend to bring its domestic total to $6.8 million. So there was a couple titles that came out. I know the Maxine film, I heard a little bit about that. Uh, it didn't seem too interesting to me, but if you're a fan of A24 films. I think this is their final film in the X trilogy. So yeah, Maxine is out right now. Um, looks like it's a period piece in the 80s. So I don't know. I'm not going to be watching that in theater. It might be something to stream, but that movie came out over the weekend as well. And like we said, you know, more of these films that are targeted towards adults they're going to have a lot of a harder time making money in the box office when they're competing with these animated films that come out at the same time. Sure, if Maxine probably came out in October and a week there was no other big films coming out, it'd probably do pretty decent.
Other than that, that's pretty much all I got for this article. I thought it was a pretty good article, some pretty good information. It kind of gives us a recap on everything that's happened uh, this month so far. Like I said, we got Twisters coming up. We got Deadpool coming up. That's going to be great. Uh, but July seems to be a, a pretty decent month for animated films in Hollywood so far. We talked about Inside Out 2 a little bit, currently sitting at $1.2 billion. That is the highest grossing film of the year so far. So congrats to Pixar and Inside Out 2. We will see if Despicable Me 4 can catch in Inside Out 2 will be a very interesting race. I think Despicable Me has more of a fan base. They have more films deep into their franchise or series, you could say. So I think that will propel them to probably a billion dollars. But Inside Out 2 has done very well. And I think the Inside Out, uh, I guess, franchise, you can call it, it's probably going to be a franchise. I think they'll get three out of it. I think that's going to be on its way to being one of those legendary animated films that kids like to get out and see with the family. Other than that, guys, that's going to do it for this broadcast of the weekly. Like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell for notifications. Keep watching the podcast. We're going to have some new episodes up very shortly. Uh, you're going to have another weekly coming up probably this week. We'll see what new information is floating around Hollywood and entertainment. I will be reporting on that. With that being said, guys, be safe.